Here we go, Bruce. What do you think? Oh, holy moly! Yeah! A monster? Holy smokes! Oh! <laughs> no! <sighs> oh my god, he ate this thing! Finally. It's a large mouth bass. It's a, it's a decent one. <laughs> hey guys, Catch 22, Bill here. I'm out with Bruce and we're, uh, we're testing out his new kayak. Tossed out the chatterbait and got this guy right here. Healthy little guy. Excited little guy. He's not that little actually. I'm gonna let you go just fine. I don't there want to see him try to water. Oh, that'd be awesome. That was bigger than anything I caught up north this whole week. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be cool. Can you see it? Yeah. You can see him underwater. Oh yeah, you gotta send me that. <laughs> cool. That's <laughs> awesome. You should do this, Bruce. Fish? Yeah. You'll get the bug once uh once you do the show. Oh I'm sure. Here we go. We're on again. Little guy. But this little guy <laughs> fought nicely. A lot easier to nice colors. So I'm using a chatterbait. Blue and green pumpkin with a green pumpkin fluke as a trailer that I hand poured myself. So I'm rereading 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. <laughs> Good time to be thinking about it. I know. <laughs> so last night, Ned Land, that's the character that Kirk Douglas played. Yeah. Canadian harpooner. He's talking fish with the, um, the professor's manservant. And so he's classifying them and Ned Land tells whether they're good to eat or not. So he said pike's not good to eat. We love carp and pike together. Not good to eat. Um, I think pike is decent, but they have a funny bone structure that okay. makes it just a pain in the butt to clean. And they talked about that too, actually. And uh, carp I always thought was gross, but I recently heard some guy saying he'll eat it. He, he goes, but it has to be smoked. Oh. 
This is the type of stuff that makes me think of Friday the 13th, the end scene. How long do you usually let it sit out there? Depends on what bait I'm using. This I don't let. Unless I'm tossing it out deep and then I want it to sink. But this is, uh, this is a moving bait. Keep it moving. It vibrates in the water. Okay. It's called a chatter bait. But if I was like throwing like a plastic worm or something, I toss it out there and slowly work it back. Bass like this thing and pike like this thing. That's why I have it on. So far I caught the two bass. I'm still waiting on that pike. They're paying the ass to handle because they're real slimy. And you can't just lip them. Yeah. But I got bokeh grip, so I should be okay. What kind of kayaks are those? Um, that blue one is a sun dolphin. That's what I was wondering. Uh, the other two, probably pelicans. They're kind of similar, aren't they? Oh, uh, no. Uh, sun dolphin is like... Super cheap? Yeah. The girls call theirs the milk jug because <laughs> it's made from the same material. <laughs> They're like, just like recycled milk jugs. And uh, so the pelican's the next step up, and then I'd say what you're in is the next step up. I like this. It's not a hobie. <laughs> I'm glad that it's not a hobie. So it's hobie you're guys. right, though. Some of the, uh, when I'm looking for reviews and stuff, some of those people are just not. Oh, yeah. Or, or they're, they're wishing for a hobie. You know what? Look at this. I can pedal backwards. You know what a Hobie guy has to do? Huh. He has to lean down, change gears, and then pedal backwards. That thing right there looks pretty solid. Not like a battleship. Where does that bungee go to? This? Yeah. I think it's just a strap to like whatever you have on here. Like if I put that box or whatever, I could probably set it right in here. It doesn't seem pretty. Yeah, or oh, is that little, what's that little black hitch thing? Maybe that's... That's just uh, something I can tie something to. Oh, no, I know exactly what that is. This? Yep. Uh, it's for that bungee. You know what, I tried doing it, and uh, that was... No, 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 not, not that way. Your bungee bungee. The one connected to your kayak. See those little engrooved uh, spots on where it's attached? Follow it to the end. Yep. Lay your paddle there. And then you can lock it in place by going over the top and then hooking to that. Oh. Yeah, there okay. you go. Okay. So oh. if, you, if you want to stop the fish or That's cool. take pictures. It took me a minute to figure out. I just put it on my lap. Oh, what the f***? I had a pike. Look, I'm completely bit off. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The bass wouldn't bite you off because your teeth are nothing. No, I just got my bait back all mangled. I felt it. He must not have, he must not have had the whole thing in his mouth. I got a fish. Yeah. Little guy. A large mouth. He's bleeding on his back. There's no way they're still spawning, so I wonder what that is. Here we go, Bruce. That one? Yeah. Whoa! Holy smokes, what is this? Come here, let me get a look at you. Are you listening to all this?
Come here. Don't shake. So what kind is that? It's large pop bass. Oh, I wish I had my friggin' bunk board. I forgot all about it. That was not bigger than the one you had before, was it? Yes. It is? It is. That one looks smaller. No, no. This thing is huge. I think I'm going to uh, pinch down the barb on these hooks. Look at that. <laughs> Ute. And I don't have my bunk board. So that's for measurement? Yeah, because um, I'm doing an online tournament. So I've been measuring my fish. So I know what to do. Just hang out for a little bit, guy. What does that do? Doesn't like go. Well, I just need to get rid of stuff. They also get uh, a little passive when you have them by the mouth. <laughs> just in case the GoPro didn't get it. monster for around here, or meaning Midwest, it's like 22 inches. Now and then, when you paddle, you get hung up on weeds or, or lily pads. And this little twist of the wrist makes all the difference. 